Well, we're still on this journey of simplifying our life and getting rid of all the modern things. And so I'm gonna show you what I'm getting rid of this week at the thrift store. And each week when I go through things, if it's something modern that I don't want, I will donate it to the thrift store and you'll be seeing all of that. So this is what we're going to be giving away this week at the thrift store. I wanna hope you enjoyed just this little video about some of the things I'm removing from my house and some of the things I'm bringing in. For the last seven years, I showed you everything I'm bringing into my house. Thought it'd be nice once in a while to show you what's going out of my house. And that's this lamp. I got this tea kettle, I already have one. I got all of these plastic organizers. I don't need them. And I got an electric kettle, which I absolutely don't need. So this will bless someone else. I can't wait to show you more of my journey and getting rid of plastics and getting rid of things that were disposable little baby steps one day at a time all right so this week at the thrift store i'm looking for the same things that i've been looking for now for the last two months almost we are looking for old-fashioned things high quality made items like baskets like i got these i've been using baskets for everything and we're going to see what else we can find that will be long-term solutions to my home and things that will last a lifetime I just got back from the thrift store and I'm gonna show you what I got. It's always a good feeling to donate to the thrift store and it's always a really good feeling to see what you can find each week. I am really spoiled by this thrift store and this is basically the only thrift store I ever go to. So the first thing I want to do is and we're going to decorate here in just a moment. It was $1 for this grape vine wreath and I'm going to change out the wreath I have on my door here and we're going to use this one because this looks more like fall and I think this is going to be more appropriate for the fall and winter season. Spend around my $10 limit this week. For 50 cents I did get this basket and I'm going to go ahead and take this down to the garden because I have a lot of tomatoes I need to harvest. Chocolate brown, my favorite color. All right, I got this tea towel and it's got reddish maroon stripes in it. It kind of reminded me of back in the 50s. So I paid a dollar for that. And then I got a lot of these. Now these were $3.50, but it is six of them. And I use these for when I, as canning mats. So I'll use these for canning mats, for all kinds of things. And I loved the blue in it. I just thought that looked so quaint and so, well, you know, I hate to say the words all the time. Old fashioned, vintage, you know, I say it over and over and over again. So you know what I mean. <laughs> um, quaint, country. Yes, it looks like country. So I got these. And then I got this pillow for $2. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I just love this pillow. Absolutely love it. Hand sewn for $2. That's a lot of work that somebody did for $2. Love it. And then all their books were half off. So that was a real blessing. One dollar, I got this one. The Scrapbook Ideas, and it is Remembrance. So it is all about, all about that kind of life. You know, my kind of life. So I got that for a dollar. And then this one I got for a dollar, In Memory of Past Times. So I did get this for a dollar. In memory of past times. I cannot wait to read and to add these in my videos. So I like adding old-fashioned graphics and things like that in my videos as well. So I got them too. And then for 2023, I know 2023 is almost over, but it's really neat. And this was for 50 cents. This was expensive at one time. 
and it is a calendar of days so this is really neat and I think I'll just use it for my to-do list and things like that so I got that for 50 cents all right everyone there is my thrifty Thursdays now we're gonna go ahead and decorate this and then I'll show you here what it looks like I have a lot of solar lights that I use but I need to put them out in the Sun to charge them up again I have solar light bulbs, I have solar lanterns, all kinds of solar things. I need to get a bow for that wreath, so I need to go look in my canning garage and see if I can find a bow. But this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be removing this one and we'll put up something for fall. Next year I'm going to restain this little cabin, but for now this will be perfect just like this. As we work on this little cabin area, which you'll notice was the chicken house, I got a brand new tour and I'm not showing you everything because we've been working week after week after week on this because we are transforming it into something really cute. And that video is coming really soon. So my Thrifty Thursdays are actually more current than a few of my other videos. While all of my videos are within about 14 days, so I'm down to about 14 days now. I don't have really old videos. It's just every day we are doing things here on the homestead that doesn't cost us any money or very little money. And we are transforming a lot of things simply by the work of our hands. So I cannot wait to show you all of that here coming real soon. There's so much content I have to share with all of you that I really have a hard time getting it all out. I am super excited about the fall and all of the things that come with that, like apples and pumpkins and cinnamon and all kinds of amazing ideas. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited because just recently our son gave us a camera. Now it's new to me and it's not a new camera, but the cameras that I have been using for the last four years, they're GoPro cameras and they're made for outdoors. While they do amazingly beautiful video footage outdoors, they're not made for indoor a house. So I am working on all kinds of things. I'm working on ways to use this camera and to see how I can make this camera even better for the winter months inside my house. It has been a struggle of mine for these last seven years to try to find a way that I can film indoors with low lighting. I don't have very good lighting. I never have. And this film is going to be, this camera is going to be so much better for me. So bear with me and when I work on this camera to see how I can get it to work. It is a Canon and at one time it was an extremely very expensive camera but these days it's not quite as expensive but it sure is expensive for me. Thank you so much for Scott's honest reviews, our son, for giving me this camera and helping make my dreams come true. And I can't wait to show you when something special comes in the mail. Our son Scott will be helping me and we will be going back in time and I'm going to be sharing you it was because of him that I made my very first YouTube video. So once again, Scott's Honest Reviews. My son Scott has helped me in tremendous ways and here is the link to his channel right above right now. You'll be seeing that here at the end of this video. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys again tomorrow.